Hey, good morning, everybody. Okay, just today is uh, August the 13th of 2021, and I'm here to share a dream with you I had this morning before I woke up. Okay, so it was not a good dream. It was not good, but here we go. All right, so I live in Florida. In the USA, I live in Florida. And um, I was at my mom and dad's house. I was trying to call down to per to Palm Harbor and uh, the call wouldn't go through and I tried to call it again the call wouldn't go through so I turned to my dad and I'm like this call isn't going through I don't know what's going on he goes that's because they're under the the, the war started they're under attack and I said what are you talking about he goes yeah they're being invaded right now they're fighting down there right now and I went I was like astounded because I hadn't heard about it. It was, wasn't being, I, <clears throat> I just didn't know anything about it. So, um, so, I, so then I decided, well, we got to get out of here. So I'll ask my, my dad, I'm like, can I use one of your vehicles, uh, to, to pack up some stuff and get out of here? And, um, he's like, yeah, take whatever you want. And my mom and dad had decided they weren't leaving. They were going to stay. My mom's in her late 70s. My dad's 80. My mom had a stroke and she doesn't get around as well. So she can't, they can't just go run off. Um, so, okay. So, um, I was uh, gathering some things together. Now, one of the things I remember, there's only two items that I remember putting together. And they were both my USA, uh, I have army military jacket and issued uh, by the military by army military jacket they're old but so there was two of them I was trying to get together and they're both um, they're both very warm jackets but ones that more, more much more warmer than the other one and I remember saying well I'm gonna take them both because um, the the difference of the temperature change you know I'm gonna be able to change out my jacket oh and another thing I remember I was putting on my steel-toed work boots I, I wear those a lot in my dreams when I'm helping others. Okay, so whatever that means. All right, so um, this is a emotional video for me. I it was it was a, it was it was very um, scary uh, when you're in that situation. Uh, many people will be afraid, but try not to be afraid. You know, just trust in the Lord. Okay, so let me get back to the dream. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting my jackets together. Now, who is with me? Is my Justin's with me? Is my oldest son? Justin was with me. Rebecca, his girlfriend, was with me, and um, one of my son's uh, friends who lives, you know, far away from him. They don't see each other anymore or talk anymore because they moved. Uh, Justin moved away. His name is Rudy, and um, Rudy. Uh, there's significance to his name. I'll just tell you that real quick. Um, it means famed wolf. And I did a video about a, a werewolf hybrid, uh, not too long ago where I gave a breakdown of that. And, um, I'm not saying Rudy's a wolf. His friend is a wolf. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's a significant about his name, famed wolf. Okay. That's a reference to Satan. Okay. To the dragon. All right. So, um, so in the dream, um, I've got them with me now. There is me. I'm, I am taking this group of people. Uh, we're going to get out of there. So it's Justin, Rebecca, Rudy, and there's one other person that I don't know. I, I don't, I can't even remember what their face looked like or anything, but I just know there was one other person. And, um, so all of a sudden I remember my friend Christy. Uh, my friend in reality, my friend Christy, she lives up on a mountain in a, extremely rural area um a lot of forestry around her and uh things like that so she doesn't live in the city she lives off by herself well with her family but you know what i'm saying she lives on top of a mountain and um so it's kind of secluded area so um just like that her name her christy came into my mind and i started crying when i thought about christy i started crying and i said oh maybe that's why the lord put her in my life you know, so that we could go there. So I started to call her and the call wouldn't go through. And then I realized I was trying to call her on a tablet. You know, a, a, one of those 
iPad tablets or something like that. I don't have one, but anyway, in the dream, I was trying to dial her on that. I said, oh, this isn't a phone. I can't use this. So I picked up my cell phone and I started calling her on my cell phone. Um, before she picked up the phone, I could hear Christy. I could hear Christy singing. Um, in reality, last night, she sent me the most beautiful worship song. Christy is a warrior of Jesus Christ, but she has a, she has a, a voice like an angel. It, it's so beautiful. It will just touch your soul. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, you know, it's beautiful. God gave her this beautiful voice and she sure uses it to worship the Lord. So, um, before she picked up the phone, I could hear her playing her piano and she was singing this song at the top of her voice to the Lord. And it was just, it was so beautiful. And, um, so she did pick up the phone and I don't remember anything said between us, but I knew that that's where I was taking these group of people. I was taking all of us to here, to her, to her uh, place of refuge in real life. Christy has been shown by the Lord that her home shall be used as a place of refuge. Okay. During the tribulation, she has been shown this. So that's the significance of her being in my dream. So, um, like I said, I don't remember any conversation between her and I just know I called her and that's where I was going to take these people. And when I got off the phone with her, I, I turned around to the group and I said, listen, we're all adults here. I said, and there's only going to be one rule, one rule. I said, no fighting. And that's all there was to the dream. This attack, this invasion is going to be all of a sudden event. It's going to be a surprise attack, just like on Pearl Harbor. It's going to be just like it. Um, you know, in my dream, I was telling my dad I needed to uh, borrow uh, one of his, you know, use one of his cars. He's like, take whatever you want. I said, we got to go. I said, because they could be here in two hours because I live approximately two hours away from Palm Harbor, not Palm Harbor, Pearl Harbor in Florida. So, um. This is totally amazing, um, not in a good way, all right? So let me just break it down for you like this. Put all your trust in Jesus Christ, trust in him. If you should find your, yourself here during, that particular, during this event, because America is going down, if you find yourself here during this um, attack, invasion, just stay in prayer, you're going to be scared, okay? You're going to be scared. It, 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 it's, it's fear, you know, it, but you have to hold your thoughts captive, all right? Stay in prayer. Allow the Lord to direct you where to go, what to do, and there are going to be people that will be there. God will send people to guide you as well. Um, to everybody, I don't know, all right? I don't know, but I know I was there. I was, I was taking a group of people um, to a ref place of refuge. Okay. And, um, it is what it is guys. Listen, if you choose to believe that America is going to be great again, everything's going back to normal. If you've got your brain on going on vacations, if you've got your brain on your retirement fund or <laughs> just all kind of nonsense and things of this world, you're making your plans. For a country that's going to be destroyed, it's going into captivity, it's going to be destroyed, all right? Um, listen, I don't know what else to tell you. I, I've, I, you can go through my playlist and you, my uh, videos and you can see all the dreams I've had about Russia, uh, America going into captivity. Now, whoever was invading us in this particular uh, event, I, I don't know. I have been shown Russia. I've been shown China. I've also been shown Lebanon attacking us. So listen, um, which is Hezbollah and all of that. Okay. So I'm here to tell you, I'm here to warn you. All right. Stay right with the Lord. Okay. No matter what you go through, let Jesus Christ be the rock that you stand on. All right. Don't let your faith falter. All right. That's all I can tell you at this point. I'm telling you. Walk in obedience to the Lord. Jesus Christ said, if you love me, you will obey me. That is a scripture. It says, if you love me, you will obey me. Look it up. Do some research. Look it up yourself. If you feel that you don't have, there's any, uh, you know, anything you have to do. And I'm not saying that, 
I'm not saying that um, your works will get you into heaven. Okay? It's not. It's by the grace of the Lord. It's by the grace of Jesus Christ dying on the cross for you. That you can, re that you can receive salvation. He's our bridge to God. But you must walk in obedience. You can't just think, okay, well, I said a prayer. Now I'm going to go out to the club getting drunk. And um, I'm going to go uh, partake of things of the world and, and, and live in sin. And that you've got a free ticket into heaven. Because I promise you it doesn't work that way. Why do you think Jesus says to many who say they're saved when they get in front of him one day. Why do you think Jesus says, depart from me for I know you not. These people came before Jesus proclaiming, well, well, Lord, Lord, look at what I've done for you. I did this in your name. I did that in your name. Blah, blah, blah. But what does Jesus say? He says, depart from me for I know you not. All right. So. Listen, I, I don't want to make this any longer than this. Uh, this was, um, I hate, I hate having to give these messages like this. I, I wish I always had, you know, nice, beautiful, encouraging things to say. All right. But this, this is, this thing's going to happen. It's going to happen sooner than later. It's going to happen sooner than you think. All right. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your animals on this day. Goodbye.